because your girl, here I is. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by me. I will be giving you guys an update on my hair journey with PCOS. And we also will be doing this crochet style right here. It is also sipping slay and your girl is still drinking her water cause you know I'm still getting over what I'm getting over. So until then, the water remains on deck. Okay, sip sip. <laughs> <laughs> now as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. So today's video, we are up close and personal because we are getting into some things with my hair. Okay, I have not talked about my natural hair growth with PCOS, that was like what, two years ago now? So it's, it's time for an update, okay? It's time to get into some things and let you know how my hair is doing, how my journey is going, and what I plan on doing to my hair hair I know uh, we're gonna get into all that and we're also going to do a style that I seen on my Instagram it was years ago but I think I finally have an idea of how I want to do it um, just something simple okay no not a lot of tension on my hair but it is crochet so we are going to do that style together so let's go ahead and just take this let's rip off the band-aid in this case the bonnet so I have my hair already sectioned in the style that I want to do I will need to add some little situation up here in the front but you, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second but first if you did not know I I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. It does cause male pattern baldness, hair loss, hair thinning. You can have excess hair growth, you know, especially around your neck area, which I do have some hair growth on my neck. Some women get full beards. You can suffer from excess weight gain and infertility. I mean, it's a whole plethora of things that can go wrong when you have PCOS. And it's frustrating because some doctors do not take it seriously. Like still to this day, I have to explain, this is what I have and this is why I was put on certain medications because the medications that I do take um, diabetics also take it so some doctors assume that I'm diabetic having PCOS does not mean you're diabetic now I'm not gonna lie okay my hair thinning has gotten a lot worse over the last year because your girl <laughs> wasn't taking her meds. When we moved from Texas a year and a half ago, I actually ran out of my meds like literally as soon as we got here to Georgia and I did not get a refill because my focus was on my kids and getting them in school and just taking care of the house since you know Kenny was gone or whatever. So for the last year I just been kind of you know winging it and that's not y'all. <laughs> When it comes to your health, don't, don't wing it. Okay, don't wing it. Don't assume you know everything because let me tell you, you don't. I've been struggling with my weight. I haven't really commented on it because it's not something that I want to comment on. And it's honestly not something that has bothered me as much as it did in the past. I think as I've gotten older, I just realized, you know, my metabolism is slowed down. I'm not in high school no more. I'm not a double zero. And then add PCOS on top of that, it's... Here I is, not working out heavy, I'm just back to walking. Walking 10,000 steps a day, good for me. Now as far as my hair is concerned, me not taking my medication, also known as metformin, I saw a drastic change in my hair over the last year. Mainly around my edges, which are my struggle areas, and then also in the middle of my head, which is also um, a struggle area. But something new did happen with my hair that didn't happen before. My hair has started to thin out. And it's not even that I've noticed it um, when I'm brushing it, like I don't get a lot of hair loss when I'm brushing it but I can definitely tell when I'm washing my hair when I'm touching my hair and especially in my back which is normally my thick area this is kind of mimicking the front now not as far as balding or hair loss but just how the density is back here L let me get back on my meds because clearly my PCOS is ramping up a hair loss finally got put back on my meds last week so you know hopefully my hair will start you know making a drastic shift in the next couple months but let me show you guys what my hair is looking like right now you guys know the middle is my struggle zone okay so this is how the middle of my hair is looking right now y'all see those grays look at those gray hairs oh these kids mm. like I have like little fuzzies that's actual hair that's growing which wasn't there at first so you know that's good what's not good is that my hair loss started to move over to the side of my head you can clearly see the hair starting to thin out closer to my ear, which was not there at first. You can't see it when I put the hair up, but when I put the hair down, you can definitely see that bald spot kind of creeping over a little bit. This has nothing to do with the PCOS and you know what it's doing. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. Me not taking my meds and not doing what I need to do as far as my diet is concerned has definitely ramped up my PCOS and just caused it to be all types of out of whack. I was still using my Blue Magic hair grease and I was also using um, the Defeal oil so the castor oil and the peppermint oil, I was using that on my edges and on my hair. Let me turn to the back so you guys can see what that's looking like back there. 
okay? That's what it's looking like in the back. If I part it this way, we got that going on, okay? I have been trimming my hair every month um, because I noticed that I have a lot of split ends popping up and I don't want it to get too far down the hair shaft. So I was cutting that off just to make sure, you know, the hair that I did have on my head was a little bit healthier than, you know, it was the day prior. I have been experiencing a lot of breakage. You guys know I was doing the lift up method, you know, leave it the alone. Yeah, I was doing that. But since I've been off my meds, I haven't really been doing that. Like, girl, wh what are you doing? You said leave it alone, but here you are trying to manipulate it every single day. Like, shame on me. And that brings me to my final point when it comes to what's on my head right now. I want to cut my hair off. That's kind of where I am right now because I feel like I have ruined the hair that I do have on my head. But I'm going to give myself a little grace and I'm going to wait until the end of the year, so 31 December. I'm gonna wait until then to see how my meds react, to see how, you know, me going back to leaving my hair alone, seeing if that can help kind of reverse what I've done to my hair or not done to my hair to get it back into a healthy state. But you know, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of just dealing with this, so, um, yeah, that's where I am right now. Until December 31st, we're gonna, we're gonna leave my hair alone. We're not gonna cut it. And I'm gonna try to do this ponytail style with y'all. Let me let me clip this back. I just wanna go snip, 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 snip. But I know that's not the right way to do that. So, <laughs> okay, so I already parted my hair, as you guys can see. All right, I have this little braid right here. I'm just gonna tuck it up under like this and I'm bobby pin it so it'll stay in place. The hair that I'm gonna use for this style, I got it from Amazon and it comes with three different packs. The hair is from, I think the hair is from Darling. All right, so this is what it's looking like in the pack and I got the Flexi Rock Curls 2X pack in 14 inches in the color 1B. This is what the hair looks like up close. I hope this is crochet, it better not. So the plan is to, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do this on camera with y'all cause I got hair on my neck, I can feel it. I don't like shaving it, I pluck it out. And when I take my medicine, um, I realize I don't have as much hair growth um, on my neck. So I want the two pieces right here in the front. So instead of leaving my hair out, I need to kinda make it like an anchor before putting it back in the um, ponytail. So I'm just gonna plait it. You know, I'm not gonna plait it tight, kinda loose. That's it, uh, like three times. And then let it go back into here. Same one over here. Do about three times. That's good. My grays are showing. Then I'm gonna use some of my um, Dark and Lovely Curl Cream or Curl and Glaze. Use a little bit of that. Cause I don't wanna change the texture of my hair too much. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of my Eco Styler Gel in here like this, like this, like this. Where is my brush? Brush it up. I'm also gonna use some of my Esha Braid and Edge Gel. This is the Slick and Slay 2-in-1 Extreme Hold. Use a little bit like that on my edges. Pull this up into a ponytail and secure it. Brush this up like this. Okay, now time for the install. So it's two bundles, two bundles on each uh, each pack. So that means I have six bundles of hair, which should be enough. Now for the back, all I'm literally gonna do is crochet this into the back of my head. Like, I've never done this, so I'm hoping that it works out the way that I want it to. I'm just gonna crochet it in the back of my head. Going by feel here. Close it up. Like this, okay. And then Pull it through. And there we go. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Let me go ahead and do the rest of the back. And I don't wanna put it too close to my edges. You'll see why.
that's good for right now. So before I shape anything, now I need to do my ponytail. So out of this first pack, I do have one, two, three left out of the two pack bundle. I didn't even count how many I actually have in each um, bundle. Let me see. One, two, there are eight in each bundle. So I use five out of that one. Okay, so I have three left over from this pack and there are eight in each pack. So I use 13 strands in the back right here. How I want to do the ponytail is my simple, um, my little ponytail method on here like this. All right, so I'm just gonna use my ponytail, open up the loop, crochet it in, let's crochet it onto the ponytail. Now, I'm really hoping this style comes out how I want it, just because I've been like obsessing over it since I saw the picture. It, it's one of those things, like if it doesn't come out right, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna be mad. I'm going <laughs> because I've been so like fixated on doing this style on my hair. Because of my hair loss, I don't always wanna put a bunch of tension on my scalp or you know near my bald spot. So I gotta space out when I do crochet styles, you know what I'm saying? I gotta pack these bad boys on there. And this hair is pretty easy to work with. I can already tell though when I fluff it out, it may get a little, you know, frizzy. This is textured, you know, crochet hair and it's synthetic, so it's gonna do what synthetic textures do when they get a little unruly. Wait a minute, this one is unruly. I knew when I put you on there, you was gonna do something simple. Ooh, that wind is picking up for real. This is 11 pieces right here on here. Is that full enough? No. I'm gonna use another pack. Okay, hold up, I'm thirsty. All right, so I used all but one piece from that one. And we're going to plop it on my head like this. Pull some through if you need to. Now I wanna fluff it. Just separate it. Definitely trusting the process with this. That wasn't secure, so I'm taking another, another band here, okay? And I'm gonna loop it under like this. And then I'm gonna push this under that one, pull this one through, make a little knot like that. And this is what I'm going to use to attach it to my head. I should have known better the first time. Very much secure. There we go, there we go. <laughs> All right, now I think I can wrap, wrap one around, let's see. Before I add my bang pieces, let me just cut how I want this to go. Cut this a little bit shorter. I'm gonna brush this hair towards the root, like this. Brush the roots. Let me do my two little, um, two little pieces. So I'm gonna split the one twist that I have left. I need to have it flip over. So I'm gonna put it right through here like this, hook it on there, and the braid is there to keep it as an anchor so it doesn't slide back and forth. Pull that through, now I need to brush the hairs like this. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Okay, so makeup is done. Let me bring these back to the front like this. I wanna make sure my sides are showing. I wanna, I wanna make sure these are out, so hold up. Let me get this back out of my way. Let me just keep fluffing this hair. Keep on fluffing, keep on fluffing. What's this? This is a long one right here, hold up. This one is too long. Even though she cute, I don't need it that long. Keep on fluffing. It's coming together. My glasses on so I can check my work. That front look real good, don't it? Mm-hmm. I think I love it. I could even just do a full up ponytail with this little thing right here in the front too. All right, how we looking? How we looking, y'all? See how we looking back there? We looking okay? 
We looking okay? This is definitely giving me like, you know, the twist out vibe without me having to do all the extra work. And I, I like that. I don't have five business days to do a twist out. That's why I just did it, you know, with the little ponytail method and kept it, you know, kept it moving. Especially because I'm only wearing this hairstyle for the weekends. That side profile is given. I will never have that time, never. <laughs> But that is all I got for you guys today. I will put the direct link for my hair and the products down below so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.